Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ella and if you are new here, welcome. I make weekly videos on Wicca and witchcraft. So for today's video I'm wearing a hat and I'm also going to be discussing a topic that is long overdue and that is cleansing and in particular your space and yourself. So this is a video all about simple cleansing so I will be listing six techniques for you to use to cleanse your space to cleanse yourself that are simple easy and accessible um, however these are not necessarily deep cleanses or super useful for like banishing or anything like that I'll be making videos on that in the future for sure but for the meantime this is just a very basic cleansing so you can do this weekly. Um, some of them you could technically even do daily if you really wanted to. Um, one is for sure in there that you definitely can do daily. Some of them might be more of a monthly ritual, like full moon or new moon sort of situation, just so you are aware. Um, and yeah, let's get right into the video. The first technique that you can use to cleanse is using light. Now light can either be in the form of visualization or using literal light, so for example candlelight. And in this case you can either use a white or a black candle. Black candles are usually used more to dispel negative energy whereas white candles are more in this situation used to bring in a light. What you would do is essentially take a white or black candle, it kind of depends on your intention, uh, however let's say it is a full moon cleansing and you are using a candle to cleanse your altar, then you light a candle preferably in a light um, in a fireproof container and you can either Etch, uh, itch, etch, sigils onto the candle, such as protection sigils. I suggest you to look this up if you don't already have any. Um, or you can also make your own. Once again, I definitely suggest you to look that up. I'm also planning a video on sigil magic. Take the candle and use it and its light to cleanse all of the dark areas and all of the negative energy and in general your entire space around you. And I also suggest you to actually sit in meditation for at least 10 minutes and just soak up that light, that candlelight into yourself. You can once again use visualization. It's really, really important in witchcraft to visualize yourself being flooded by that light and being completely cleansed. So from top to bottom, into your fingertips, all of the energy is just, you know, all of the months past or weeks past or whatever, um, energy is like being removed by that light and that light is just filling you up. The second technique that you can use to create a clean space around you and yourself is using water, in particular moon water. So I have moon water here and how you make moon water is really really simple. All you have to do is take some clean water, tap water if you have tap water that's clean in your country, or um, filtered water of course whatever works for you and you put it in a little jar. I like to have these little jars. They're one dollar from the dollar store and you place it on your windowsill or outside if you can but then definitely with a lid and you let the moon soak into your water. So even if you don't necessarily have direct moon shine on your water, it still will work. Some people prefer it this way, some people prefer, prefer it that way. Um, as long as you are setting it outside, putting it outside on a full moon, it will soak up that energy because it's just in the air in general. Moon water is really, really simple for you to make. Um, you can make it every single full moon. I suggest you to do that every single full moon. It's super simple. It's really, really quick and easy. And what you can then also use it with is to sprinkle a little bit little uh, to sprinkle a little bit of it into your coffee or even you know taking some on your fingertips and maybe drawing some sigils all over your body you can put it in your food in your baking whatnot what have you you know and then also you can cleanse your space with moon water by either putting it into one of those spray bottles or of course by putting your fingers in it once again and then just spritzing it all over your altar. Make sure you have clean fingers. That's moon water. The third 
technique, my favorite technique and my most frequently used technique is smoke cleansing. So with smoke cleansing, I believe that is one of the most popular ways to cleanse. And you've surely already seen it at least at some point on Instagram or on, you know, any type of video on even on movies they use it. And smoke cleansing is essentially exactly what it sounds like you are lighting for example an incense stick a herbal stick and you are going around and purifying the air with the smoke so different smoke has different purification properties so you might make yourself one out of cedar or juniper or you can also use literal incense sticks that's what i usually prefer to work with because they're really accessible cheap and in every country i've ever lived in they always are there so they're really really convenient to use um, of course creating your own or buying them from little shops on for example etsy is a really really great idea as well some of the most popular ones to cleanse are for example lavender sage in particular common sage because there's that entire thing with sage being endangered and also also a cultural um practice so do make sure that you're using common sage common sage you can really just plant yourself in your garden and my personal favorite is also sandalwood i just love the smell of sandalwood um dragon's blood is also really really popular if you just saw my unboxing video actually that is literally all about cleansing and they used um incense cones so that's another option for you there now with uh, smoke cleansing, I actually like to do that all the time. I smoke cleanse almost daily, which seems excessive, but excessive, but I just like the smell. I don't burn candles as much because I like to keep my candles untouched, um, but I like to just have my smoke cleansing on. So not necessarily every day, but a lot of times throughout the week, I will have my incense light, incense lit, yes. Technique number four is using sound. Now this is an interesting one and perhaps you've actually seen it being used once again, for example, on Instagram. Sound is my not so preferred method to be quite honest because it requires once again, very specific tools. So you can use your own voice if you are a good singer, but I don't have a nice voice in my personal opinion. Um, you can also use high vibrational music that you can find on youtube for example but very very commonly sound is either used by using a bell and i actually just got my first bell yay a lot of times people will use these really amazing and oftentimes a little bit expensive um, singing bowls and the vibration of the um, stick i guess against the bowl creates this really high pitched or low pitched uh, vibrational sound and it's it's really beautiful and intense and you can feel it throughout your entire body it cleanses you it cleanses your space it is incredible but sometimes hard to get by that's technique number four Now technique number five involves, involves salt. So you can use, for example, black salt or normal salt, white salt, and use that to sprinkle around you, to sprinkle on your doorstep, for example, to keep anything out. To This is more of a banishing um, technique, to be fair, but you can still use salt in a bowl, for example, to cleanse specific things. So if you have a talisman or if you have crystals or I like to cleanse my rings and my necklace every once in a while, then you can put that in a little bowl with salt and leave it overnight and in the next day it's going to be cleansed. Once you have used the salt, I would suggest you to throw it out. Don't throw it out in nature. Salt will kill. The grass around you make sure you dispose of it properly in for example a trash bag so that also means don't use too much salt because that might be wasteful but for the most part salt usually lasts you a while you don't have to use throw it out every single time um, maybe just once a month just so it doesn't collect too much dust and grime and stuff just stuff that's in the air basically and of course also the negative energy or the energies in general that it is cleansing from the objects And 
now my second favorite technique to cleanse yourself and your space is using crystals. So as you may or may not know, I love crystals. I have a crystal shop. Again, the link will be in the description box. And I absolutely adore working with crystals because of the energy that they retain from being created by millions of years in the earth. Earth's crust, Earth's oceans, Earth's everything. It's just completely incredible to me and I love working with crystals for exactly that reason. They're really really high vibrational as well once again and you can either use for example selenite or funnily enough it's actually not selenite it's actually satin spar but usually shops will sell, sell it as selenite and you can pass it over your body and you can pass it over your altar and there is also other crystals that you can work with to cleanse yourself and your space and having crystals in general around once again different crystals will have different properties but of course not everyone likes to work with crystals so this is more of a optional one let's say you might not necessarily want to use crystals for cleansing and for working with in general so that already is it for this video I hope it was somewhat informational. Um, once again, this is a very condensed version and I will probably go over proper deep cleansing in the future. But let me know if you are interested in this topic and if you have any comments or anything to say, let me, down, let me know in the comments below. And of course, if you like this video, then please like and subscribe and do check out, I have a Patreon and I also have Crystal Shop, as I mentioned earlier. On my Patreon, I discuss things like this as well as having like a lot of different other cool perks and in the different tiers so do go check it out and thank you so much for watching see you next time